Hey everyone, welcome to Ticker. We're really excited to make two big announcements today. So first of all, we're starting to open up the platform to everyone. So if you go to ticker.com, you click sign in, and then you click create account, and then you fill in your information here. So let me just quickly do that. So we'll just call the password test123. One, two, three. Um, obviously read the privacy policy and the terms of use, and then you can create your account. You'll then get a verification code sent to your email. So there we go. Just copy and paste in this verification code. And there you have it. So now you can sign up, skip the wait list, and again, get onto the ticker platform. So the other big announcement, of course, today is our global screener. So we're launching our screener today, and you can see that in the left navigation bar here. So if you click global screener, the first time that you go to the screener, you'll see our default screen already built in. So we've built in a number of different criteria here. If you click fetch screen, it'll apply that criteria and pull up the companies um, that obviously fit those criteria. So here you can actually now filter through the entire global universe of stocks and apply just a variety of criteria. You can also create your own screen. So if you click add screen, it'll create your own screen and it'll save all of your metrics so you can run it again in the future. So if we go back to this global screen, I just wanted to show you how you can add a criteria or a new condition to your screen. If you click this plus sign, it'll pull up this drop down bar. You can you know, either go through the drop down bar, you can type in here and it'll pop up in the drop down uh, menu here, or you can click to browse all data. So this is a really nifty way to kind of go through all of the uh, metrics that we have here. So for example, if we want to look at, let's say revenue, we can click total revenues, and then it'll kind of have this pop up here and you can pick either value. So that's the absolute value, percent change year over year, or the CAGR, so the compound annual growth rate. So let's say we want to look at the percent change year over year. We can then select the fiscal year that we want. So this is the actual you know, reporting period or the fiscal year uh, for these companies. So let's say for 2020, and then you can choose greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to, or display only. So display only will allow you to add this to your screen. It won't be used as an actual criteria, but it'll create a column where you can have that data pop up in your table. So here, let's just say greater than 10%. And so this will add now a column. And of course, you know, these are the companies that fit this greater than 10%. So, you know, you can of course filter through a variety of criteria here. The big ones are, you can filter through um, some company attributes. So again, let's click to browse all data here. So you can click through some company attributes, valuation metrics, income statement, balance sheet, cash flow, ratios and estimates. So if you've used Ticker before, you know that we have a you know detailed financial section, a valuation section, and an analyst estimate section here. So you can access pretty much all of that data in this screener. So here, you know, if you use the uh, click to browse all data, you can look at the company section here. And as you can see, you can you know filter by the industry, you can filter by the region, the country, and then just a variety of different metrics here. So estimates, this database basically comes from Wall Street sell side analysts. So we have historical data and forecasted data. The estimates database has fewer companies within it because not all companies are actually covered by Wall Street analysts. These income statement, balance sheet and cash flow um, metrics here, which is from the financials database is the biggest database that we have. So this is where we have you know 60,000 plus companies that fall within these metrics in, in this database here. So we just have a variety of metrics um, and a lot of ratios here as well that you can use um, to add to your screener. And also, you know, if you want, you can delete the screen here. And then this final button here lets you kind of hide some of the screening criteria. So you have, you know, more viewing um, room here. You can look at, you know, different rows per page and you can sort the columns here. And this will show you, you know, what percentage of our total uh, universe of global companies here, 66,000 companies are popping up in your screen. So that's it for the quick overview of the screener. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at support at ticker.com.
We're really excited. This is our first version of the screener and there's a lot more to come from Team Ticker. So definitely follow us on Twitter. It's the best place to keep up to date on Ticker and also would really appreciate your help spreading the word on Ticker. So if you go to the Market News tab, you'll see your personal referral link up here and would really encourage you and appreciate your help um, you know, just sharing this link with your friends or anyone else that you think would find value in what we're building uh, at Ticker. So again, thank you so much for your support and we're excited to hear your feedback on the new screener.